This is a really simple way of adding audio or sound, background radio sound, to any vehicle that you get into. And it works in multiplayer and it works on all vehicles. You don't have to specify which vehicle. As long as you've got a group of sound files, um, all you need to do, and it's really simple to implement, you just run a single little trigger, repeatable, give it an, a label so that you know what this trigger does. In the conditions, just say player is not equal to vehicle player. In other words, he's in a vehicle. And when he's in a vehicle, run this little script. So it's repeatable, and that's all. Repeatable trigger that will work when the player gets into a vehicle, when he's not equal to vehicle player. So I'll show you how that works. Obviously the sound effects that you use, or the, the sound tracks you use, should be tailored for the specific type of mission that you're running. Like in the, if it's a military mission, obviously you'd have a military radio kind of soundtrack. Okay, so let's drop down. Let's drop down a plane and a and a chopper. The sound is random. It's picking from six or seven different sound samples. I can't remember exactly how many I have in this. Yeah, you can hear that they've done some work to the attenuation of sounds when in the cockpit, so that you can hear it's shutting the volume down a bit. So you may have to kind of tweak this little script just to, if you want to use the radio sounds in the plane. Um, so basically that's, how, that's the effect you get. It doesn't matter what vehicle you get into, you're going to get this sort of sound. You're going to get uh, a random sound played. Basically, you first can obviously create your sound files. In this case, I've got um, 
sound. I've got six ambient sounds. And they play for about one minute 13, one minute 12, one minute nine. One one eleven, one oh three, and one ten. Okay, so you make your sound files. You you go into your description.ext like usual. You make sure there's a class CFG sounds, and then you make a class for each of the um, sound files that you're going to put into as ambient sounds. So, in this case, I've got uh, ambient one. To six, and you might need to adjust the volume. Okay, so then all you do is, as per the little trigger, you run that in the trigger, and it'll work on all the machines on the network simply because the trigger is replicated across the network in the mission that you save. So everyone will have a copy of this trigger, and if the trigger is running repeatedly on their machine. Uh, then when they get into a vehicle, they will hear a sound. They won't necessarily hear the same sounds that you guys are, or that, that everyone else is hearing, but that's not an issue. You want to keep as much processing off the server as possible. So things like ambient, background, noise, it's fine if it's slightly different. It's only if it affects gameplay that uh, you obviously want to replicate it across the network. So in this case, um, it does a double check. If player equals vehicle player, then it exits. So we've got two variables. One is an array that contains a list of all of the ambient sounds. The other is the selection of one of these sounds. And then this is when you get into a vehicle, it will pick a random sound from the list and it will play that sound. It's not speech, so that's why it's false. It'll play the sound. And then this little bit of script is quite interesting. What happens when you get into a vehicle and you're playing sound, play sound generates or creates an object called sound on vehicle. So what this thing does is when you get out of the vehicle, it waits until the vehicle player equals the player. In other words, he's out of the vehicle, sleeps for a second, and then it deletes this sound object and that kills the sound. Uh, if you want to go and see more about this, go to the wiki page for play sound and uh, they detail this process. Um, so it's a really useful way of killing the sound when you get out because otherwise you've got to do, you've got to treat it as, uh, you've got to use fade sound and you've got to use speech and so on and uh, it kind of gets messy and sometimes it, it uh, even though you faded the sound, the sound's still playing. So um, yeah, so that's very simple, tiny little script and a very simple way of implementing it, just by using a, a, a repeatable, where did I get that from? I'm just dismantling my base. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so uh, you just basically use a trigger, repeatable, and uh, that little command, and this tiny little script that I've just shown you. And, and you'll have sound throughout your mission on every vehicle that you get into. And it's obviously dependent on the quality of the sound files that you use and don't make them too loud, obviously. You just want them sort of background ambience. So I hope that was useful. And if so, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.